Hi guys, so we're here at Cape CrossFit. I'm Chris Oman, the head coach at Cape CrossFit, and we're here to teach you a little bit about skipping. So here to demonstrate four different ways of using the skipping rope for a great workout is one of my coaches and superstar athletes, Tash. Once we have measured out the rope's length, what we want to make sure is that our elbows stay close to our midline and that we rotate our arms out a little bit. The skipping goes straight up and down and the power comes from her wrist. So she's simply rotating her wrist using her form to create a little bit of speed. Single forward skips, easiest way to do it and also best way of getting comfortable with the rope. Once we got that one down, if you stop, we're gonna go the other way around. So we're gonna do a backward single skip. Pretty much the same thing, but obviously the rope is now rotating backwards. Arms stay in the same position, it's still the wrist doing the work here and the rope is pausing backwards with every single skip. And relax. And once we're mastering the forward and the backward skips, we can start making it a little bit more complicated and working a little bit more on our coordination for that matter as well. So now Tash is going to demonstrate what we call a crossover skip. She pretty much hugs herself as hard as she can and remembers to open up her arms to the same position they were in when she was skipping forward and backwards. And relax. And then we get the queen of the exercises. We call this one the double under. And pretty much what it means is that the rope needs to pass twice underneath your feet with one jump. So Tash sets herself up in the same way and she starts with single skips until she feels comfortable to speed up the rope. And she goes for a few single skips and she speeds it up by increasing the speed in her wrist. Once she got that down, she can string them together if she can find the rhythm where her feet are going at one speed and her hands twice as fast and relax. So there you have it, four different ways of using a skipping rope to create workouts in outside of the gym. It can be your best friend when you're traveling and so on as well. Try to remember to find yourself in a comfortable upright position and use your wrist more than you're using your arms for a big rotation and you can get much more fitter than you ever thought just using something simple like a skipping rope.